you want to do? I want a potato bowl. Good morning on Beaver yeah. Festival in our potato bowl celebration. Santa. support come Saturday. We'd like to have as many people as possible up there. We're very proud to be chosen to be a part of the Potato Bowl and uh, anything that you could do to help us, it would be really something that we'd like. I'd like to have at this time the the uh, players that are here, just come on up guys. He's on. A lot of them uh, have class. We have to do this very quickly. Kind of just spread out, gang. We'll just, uh... <laughs> Any, uh, Coach Sampson here? He's got a class, so... Uh, Coach Jesperson got a class. These are the people, a lot of them, that have been very instrumental in, in the great season that we have had. The guys that we love, and we feel that going up to Bakersfield and playing in that stadium, and representing Fullerton College, you students, is something that's very rewarding for us. I would like to just have some of these people step down. Coach Thomas, our offensive line coach, Coach Fiola, here, been with us, who deserves all the credit for all the things that we have done. The other coaches, Coach Sampson and Coach Jes Jesperson are in classes this time. Uh, 
Let's see if we can go. Start over there. Okay. David Pearson, just come on down and walk by, and we'll. Our quarterback, right? Good job. Ron Moninger, wide receiver. Good run. Corey Malinguis, our, our uh, defensive end. Okay, Corey. Demondre White. All right. Great. Right. Tailback. Uh, Tony Segusa. Fullback. Mr. Salazar. Our offensive guard. Chuck Brown. Defensive tackle with the shades. All right. Mr. Helms. Eric. Quarterback. Who's the other? Paul Graham, quarterback. All right. What he was doing the other night, the last night, running through our defense, I don't know about him. He was doing this, running the scout team. Very, very happy for some of the things these guys do. I hurt halfway through the season. We sorry we we're missing him. Johnny Mountain here. Johnny, uh, do you want to come over towards the tree a little bit here and tell us something about what you have to say uh, to Coach Sherbeck? Yeah, well, on behalf of the, the whole team, Coach, we just want to say thank you for everything you've done, and we're all sure proud of being here at Fullerton and going to the Potato Bowl. We're real excited, and we just want to say if it is your last year, that we love you, and we wish you the best, and Merry Christmas. Thanks, Coach. This is the plaque presented to Helms on behalf of the students here at Fullerton College. Very good, Helms. What are you getting, Coach? What are you getting? Hey, potato ball.
have a misfit. Quit her with a
talks about who's got
21-7, Fullerton over Santa Barbara. today.
goal 45 to 7 with 10 02 in the third quarter Two copies of that.
today's game, but you took care of him through the year. Let's go. Yeah, how you doing, Victor? You guys stop and beat him very well. well I, I, I would say this, this that I, I thought our coaches did a great job of preparing our, our defense, and we took some things away from him. We, we had the different coverages, and that, that worked very good. And I think the offensive team, uh, Dave Pearson, just had a superior, superb game and executed and uh, Samson made with this outstanding. Just a great team effort. Just something very rewarding. All right, just like you said, a team effort uh, along with the coaching staff, offensively, right. defensively, you guys so just put it all together. Kicking game, everything. Just everything was just very rewarding. All right, what were the intentions and the game plans? Obviously, you knew that uh, it was going to be a tough game, but you blew out ahead of them in the first quarter. Uh, what were your thoughts then going into locker room halftime? Well, I think what you do then is just hope that, hopefully that you can maintain the, you know, the momentum. And, the rhythm that you have and not change anything, and that's what that's the thing we have to do. And one final thought, uh, no matter who wins the game, uh, big, big score, small score, the, the game is played for a big call, a very, very good call. That's, that's so true. That, that's that's what it's all about. We're so thankful that we've had a chance to play in this city and, and play for this cause. It, it just uh, something that makes tears come to your eyes that we're able to do that. Do you think uh, one, one, one last thought? Uh, so you're coaching legacy of Fullerton, and you've been there for a while. Uh, is this it for you? You're going to move on? You, what do you think you're going to do? Uh, I, don't know. I can't answer that. I, there's, there's a lot of things that you have to evaluate. And, you know, we're very happy just to be here. We'll, we'll look at that later on. All righty. Thanks, Thank that, Coach. Over here. I love these guys. Just something love that you, Coach. We, we just, uh, I can't say anything. Come on, yeah. give that to Mike yeah. Clark right there. Right there. It's right to your right, Marcus. Get that to it. First of all, the outstanding offensive player goes to Fullerton's number 28, Mike Clark. Outstanding defensive player yeah. of today's game. Again to Fulton's number 26, Adrian Olsen. Yeah. This wow. is for you. you <laughs> wow. Got you, Mike. Good job, Ray. Ready to go, Adrian? Let's go. Today's 1991 potato bowl game. Again, to a Fulton player, number seven, Dave Pierce. Yeah! This trophy is every year in memory of the boy Foster who started this game in 1948. It's my pleasure to say to you. Every and where are you going to? Yeah! Go to Disneyland! 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 Go to Hey, who's that woman, Coach? <laughs> Put her hat on her. Right? <laughs> yeah, you know, when you, you've been in it a long time, just 40 years, and be, be able to, you know, have so many guys. And here's one of them, and other people that have been around. You know, it's just, it's just so rewarding. I don't know, you know, walking away or what it is. I, if that's what it comes to, well, then that's what I'll have to do. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm going to evaluate it all through. The, I've got to find. I, I don't have a job. I, I just got this place where I go, and I love it. Huh? So we'll just look at it. Thank you.
but I, I just uh, I don't know at this point. We've got to evaluate all the things that we want to try to do. If we if we do go, I go back home to Montana <laughs> and go hunting and fishing. <laughs> I, I don't know that. I, I'm glad it is. <laughs> No, I don't know. That's that's what we'll do. Why then? We'll go back and go some, get some hunting and fishing in and relax for a while. But that'll that'll come when the time comes later on. We'll make that decision. We'll probably make this we'll handle it very well today. Yeah, he's a freshman, and we've used him uh, at fullback and tailback and cars other freshman. plays, and he just. Ran very hard when he year, had yeah. his opportunity. And it's nice to see that. We lost a couple of players as we had to Brian Williams finally hit hard and ran hard. That was good for him. He's been hobbled for the last four or five games. Chuck Boswell. Williams' brother's in there, nephew.